As foreign ministers began a second and final day of talks, the key focus was on reassuring Ukraine's vulnerable neighbours. As such, non-NATO member countries, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Moldova and Georgia, were also invited to the meeting. We have a proxies, or we had a proxies in our government, uh, Russian proxies. So division in the country is deep and we hope that we'll be able to overcome it. At the end of the meeting, there were comforting words from the NATO boss who spoke about the importance of bolstering the Western Balkans and Black Sea regions. The more support you're able to provide to uh, these countries, being different, but under uh, uh, Russian uh, pressure, influence in different uh, ways, uh, uh, it is much better to support them now than, uh, uh, than when we have seen uh, um, developments in going in the absolutely wrong direction, as we saw with the invasion of uh, Ukraine uh, uh, earlier this year. During the talks, allies have promised Kyiv more than $100 million worth of equipment to repair the energy infrastructure Russia is continuously bombing. But the Ukrainian foreign minister is also pressing for more air defences to help shoot down Moscow's missiles before they hit. If Germany is ready to provide patriots to Poland, and Poland has nothing against uh, handing these patriots over to Ukraine, then I think that the solution for the German government is obvious. We are ready to accept them, we are ready to operate them in the uh, safest and efficient, most efficient way. And once again, I would like to reiterate that this is a purely defensive weapon. On the ground in Ukraine, it's clear Western weapons have given Kyiv its recent frontline momentum. And Ukrainian soldiers are indeed grateful. We are now using an Italian mortar. And the shell we have here is American. It's a very good shell. We only had 60 caliber before. This one here is 120 caliber. But the problem for NATO is the Ukrainians are burning through artillery, ammunition and air defences faster than the Allies can manufacture and supply them. Sarah Morris, TRT World.